Dr. Sarvapalli Radhakrishnan was born on 5th September 1888 at Thiruttani village of Chittur district in erstwhile Madras Presidency. But his father, who was a staff member of the local landlord revenue collection department, did not want his son to have English education. Nope. There is no need to learn English. What's the use? <laughs> My son will be oppressed. People will respect him a lot. But the teachers of his school were heads over heels with the outstanding talent of this kid. One day, you will bring glory to the name of our school. I'll definitely try my best, sir. With the days of the village school now over, Radha Krishnan takes admission to the Evangelical Mission School of Tirupati. In the school's final examination, he scored outstanding result to earn scholarship. And the gold medal goes to Sarvapalli Radha Krishnan. Radha Krishnan got admitted to Madras Christian College. But he was surprised by the comments made in the classes by British teachers on Indian philosophy. One problem of Indian philosophy is it has no space for ethics. This is... this is absurd. Radha Krishnan took a pledge that he will change such misconceptions of foreigners on Indian philosophy. I'll make sure you get to know the truth about our philosophy. In his postdoctoral thesis, Radha Krishnan logically established his contention on Indian philosophy. Well, I have read your thesis, my boy. I'm bound to accept your sound logical discourse. Many congratulations. Thank you, Professor Hug. Soon, Radha Krishnan's professional life began after taking up teaching assignments in Madras Presidency College and later Mysore College. He joined Calcutta University in the year 1921. He was also the professor of Eastern Religions and Ethics at the University of Oxford, England. Good morning, Professor. Good morning. Along with teaching, he continued his research on Indian philosophy and finally in 1939, Dr. Radhakrishnan took over as the Vice Chancellor of Banaras Hindu University. In 1946, he was elected as India's representative in UNESCO and later was elected Chairman of UNESCO's Executive Board. Ladies and gentlemen, peace, let us realize, does not consist in the mere absence of war. It consists in the balance that only justice and order can maintain. Between 1933 and 1937, Dr. Radha Krishnan was nominated five times for the Nobel Prize in Literature. The first book authored by him was Philosophy of Rabindranath Tagore. In 1954, the country honored him with the highest civilian honor of the country by awarding him Bharat Ratna for his tremendous contributions in literature and philosophy. In 1962, Dr. Radhakrishnan took his oath as the second president of independent India. I, Dr. Sarvapalli Radhakrishnan, do swear in the name of God that I will faithfully execute the office of the president of the Republic of India. People used to celebrate his birthday with great pomp, but Radhakrishnan never liked it. He wanted it to be celebrated in a different way. Sir, every year we want to specially celebrate your birthday. Yeah, yeah, sir. Absolutely. Sure, sir. Yes, absolutely. absolutely. Well, but I want this day to be remembered with a mark of respect to the teachers of our country. This great son of India passed away in 1975. But his message has remained with us forever. He was a great teacher who was loved by all his students. Thus, every year on 5th of September, on Dr. Sarvapalli Radhakrishnan's birthday, we remember this great man by paying respect to our teachers. The day is known as the Teacher's Day by all of us. A life of joy and happiness is possible only on the basis of knowledge and science. Teachers should be the best minds in the country.